have new batteries. We've been selling a 22 volt, 2.6 amp battery, what most in the industry would call compact battery. This will continue to sell in our portfolio. Customers should prefer size, weight, more refined price, a lower price. Choose our compact offer. It works with many of our 22 volt tools. You can use it on every single one of them, but it's optimized for those tools where weight and size are the most important feature. We're proud to introduce our B22 4.0 battery and our B22 8.0 battery. These are batteries using new cell technology and a new design in the pack, which I'll cover at the end of it. But I want to talk about what we do with the tools. Of energy in the battery pack is just potential. It's just something that's stored, very much like the gas in your car. What you do with it to deliver performance in the application and runtime is a whole system approach. How you design the pack and how you design the tool. So as an example, I have our T4A here. And I have a competitive tool here. And you hear very different sounds. If you pass these around, to those who have two free hands, pull the trigger. You feel a difference? Yeah, so, so much vibration. A lot of vibration in that. Noise and vibration are indications of the design of the tool. When it doesn't vibrate as much, it's more efficient. When it doesn't make as much noise, it's more efficient. All of those things come from the energy in the battery. So if you design a tool that's really efficient, deliver more work per charge and more performance, it will be a smooth operating tool. Put your hands full. Thank you. There's the pink there. It'll be a smooth operating tool and you'll get more work for charge. More importantly, you're going to get lifetime out of that tool. Vibration is heat inside of the tool, breaking down the parts, breaking down the lubrication inside the system. Noise is wear and tear happening in the tool, breaking it down. So the more smooth and quiet and lower vibration your tool is, it's an indication of something that's going to actually last. In addition, not having lots of vibration is a lot more comfortable to work if you're going to use it all day long. So one of the things we do, I've given you the message about what we do with a quality product and repair it. I've talked about the tool and how we design it to make it more efficient. And if we compare, the industry usually uses 5.0 amp hour batteries on their 18 volt tools for their most common applications. We have our 22 volt, 4 amp battery, and in this example, we drilled holes in concrete, concrete that's been cured for far longer than 21 days. And you can see we do 50 to 100% more work per charge with our 22 volt 4.0 versus the newest tools the competition has with their 5.0 batteries, most commonly sold. So that noise, that vibration is part of the equation, but then the design of the back, the battery pack deliver you more productivity. If I don't have to change the battery as often, I'm making less trips to the charger, I'm getting more work done. That's good. We will also add our B22 8.0 battery. And you can see here the area of the concrete that's colored is far larger than everything else. If you're going the distance and you're traveling a long ways from your charger, you want something that's gonna enable you to do the most you can. We enable you to do that with our 8.0. So here we have some cordless drills. This is our main drill. It's actually the one in the middle. We have a smaller tool, a compact version. We have a larger tool, an SF10W for more demanding applications. This is what's most commonly used in the marketplace. 
Here again, we use our 22 volt, four amp battery, and we're drilling spade bit holes inside of BB grade plywood. These are one inch diameter holes. We actually stacked each of these sheets together. So when you're doing the application, it's two layers, one hole each time. We've stacked them up so you can see how many holes that we've done with them. It's a demanding application because when you cut through a plywood with a spade bit, we have tips on our uh, spade bit that actually help you get faster production, but they also can catch the chips on the back of the board. And those chips create a spike in the current going through the tool, which makes it demanding for the battery and demanding for the tool. It creates a situation where there's overload. Every manufacturer has to prevent overload of a battery because you need to control the lithium ion to keep its lifetime up. Our tool successfully goes through all of the wood with little or no overload in this and producing 350 holes in wood. So non-stop, continuous drilling. And again, I show you market standard is 18 volts, five amp batteries, and we do about 25% more work per charge with our 22 volt, four amp battery than those versions. This is productivity for your customers. They can do multiple sheets, sheets of work, different depths of product, and have a reliable, productive tool. Some contractors, if you're getting into a wood structure, I'm doing a hotel, I'm doing a school, um, a, a place where you have wood all around it, uh, you, those contractors will do the same thing I described with the concrete tools. One person will go around and drill all the holes through the building so that another person can pass the electrical or the plumbing through the, those holes they can get a lot of holes done because they don't have to install anything. With this, we installed, did, 800, and, hopefully you can hear me, 840 holes with one charge. So when you really need to go the distance and you really need to just do one thing, our 8.0 battery can help you with the productive. Good? Designing the pack is very important. This is our current 5.2 amp hour pack. And what you can see as we move to this B22 4.0 pack, we've really tightened up the configuration. We've put a proprietary housing around the cells that actually helps draw heat off of the cells. And we've concentrated on airflow through the system to improve the cooling of it. We've always had our electronics potted in an epoxy. This protects the electronics from debris, moisture, stuff that the contractor might be actually installing. We don't want it to damage the battery. We also double tap the cells so that you get a very positive connection as you go through. Robust wiring that's soldered on each place and in some places we actually epoxy on the connection in so that we can keep the battery running. A little bit like light bulbs that used to have filaments, the glass usually doesn't break, it's the filament, right? So if you're protecting the circuits, if you're protecting the connections, you're providing a robust harness, it can survive the drops that I did, it can survive the abuse that the tool is gonna provide. In fact, less than 1% of our batteries have to be replaced. When I talked about the repair, in our coverage where we do honor wear and tear coverage, not just a manufacturer's def defect situation, but wear and tear. On a battery, less than 1% of the time does it need to come in and we replace it. With the batteries, our old battery was an 18650 cell, moved to a larger diameter 21 cell, but put it in the design that I mentioned here to deliver more efficiency, the work per charge that you saw over there, and greater lifetime. Because we pay for the battery if it fails, we want to reduce that as much as we can. Size and weight, you can see our 22 volt 4.0, actually is smaller than our 5.2. The weight drops a few ounces. 
about two ounces. Here, we're gonna go up about a half a pound from the 5.2, but the size is very competitive when you match it up to the, the other products on the marketplace. So we're packing 22 volts in a very similar size and a very similar weight as the competition is. That makes it easier for the person to carry around the product throughout the day and get things done.